What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing on with our product review journey of 2019 with a look at a new brand and their water-based pomade. And guys, let me tell you, this review had me questioning a lot. You see, this one here just really had me questioning everything that I thought I knew about gel types. It made me just question everything, all the stuff that I've used in the past, all the ways that I've styled with it. Do I really know anything? Do I know what a gel type is? It just totally threw me off guard. It made me start to question everything. Who am I? What am I doing? Am I wearing pants? Well, yes, but it made me question a lot of other things. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We got the Concept Hair Relations Water-Based Pomade, and it starts right now. All right, so before we begin today, I'm sure some of you are wondering about my hat here, mainly because I usually don't wear hats in my videos, but recently I got sent a few beanies from this awesome company called King and Fifth, which is a brand that's been around since about 2009, and they actually have a bunch of things on their site, but their beanies are fantastic. They're made really well, and they just, they feel great on the head, and they have a lot of awesome styles. They sent me over a couple to look at here, and I think they're awesome. So if you're looking for a new hat, a beanie, I think they have fedoras, sunglasses, things like that go ahead and give them a look a link is right down there in the description there's also a 20 percent discount code for you guys there to use if you're interested today though we are talking about concept hair creations this is the brand behind the pomade we're looking at today they're a fairly new brand and they actually ha do have other things on their site they got another styling product besides this one that's called matte i have not tried that one so if you've got a question regarding that one i can't honestly answer it because i've only tried their pomade me. That's all they sent. So that's all I will be offering my thoughts on today. But like I said a second ago, this one was a lot of fun for me to test and review because it challenged me. It challenged me to look at this a bit deeper than other gel type pomades. And for somebody like me who reviews and tests so many products a month, so many products a year, that is a welcomed and appreciated challenge. Anything that can make things interesting for me as a reviewer is really nice. And it's especially nice for something like a gel type pomade that can sometimes start to feel cookie cutter or all poured from the same pot. <laughs> all all poured from the same pot. Did you see what I you see what I did there? All poured from the 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 same pot, you know, because pomade is poured. Yeah. You really know your joke is probably not that good when you need to get props to help people get it. But anyway, this one here was cool to test out because it honestly did come off as familiar, but still kind of new, like how Paradox was from the Lockhearts, which was a new take on this type of product. And don't get me wrong here, I'm not saying that those are comparable. We will talk about that more at the end. I'm just saying that they're both somewhat similar in the sense that they're both pushing the envelope for this genre of product. And I appreciate that. According to the brand, the concept hair cream Creations Pomade offers a firm to flexible hold and semi-shine finish. They also say this is perfect for all hair types, including straight or curly hair, and all-day endurance on that firm hold. For the jar here, we got a 3.3 ounce plastic jar, and that sells for $15 US. Looking inside the jar here, we got by appearances only what we would expect with a gel type. It's nice and clear, easy scoop, just what we would expect there. But when you break it down, you get this really nice slick feeling in the hand and that slick feeling is much more exaggerated than others that we've looked at in the past. I'd for sure say that this one in the hand is more slick than sticky. Now the main thing for me that stood out about this one here was how slick it was for sure and how versatile it was in its styling which was great because usually with gel types I found in the past that you pretty much just styled with them all the same. I mean there are some different attributes to judge like the hardening, the lifting, those are all things that we look for in gel type pomades, but the styling aspects usually are the same. Damper, towel dried hair, and a couple scoops. It's 
you know, pretty cut and dry. But here, when I started with damp hair, like I usually do with products of this type, I actually had a bit of trouble styling. I mean, it did work. I don't want to mislead anyone and, and try to say that it didn't work in damp hair. I think it definitely did. I just found that in my hair, I found it was just so slick that it was really hard to get a good style, get that volume and, and get something that I like that's not a slick back. Essentially, you guys could just throw it in there and slick it back super easy. But if you want something with volume, for me, it was a little bit hard with damp hair. But on the jar here, it actually says you can use this in dry hair as well. But like I said, this isn't the usual method of attack that I take with products of this nature. But this is part of the reason why it was fun for me. It was a bit different. I do have to be honest though, dry hair wasn't fully the answer either, but let me show you what I found when I tried it out. Here I have clean dry hair and I'm going to be working with two scoops. And as I add in the first one, take note of how slick the pomade is and how easy it enters my hair. As soon as it hits my hair, it glides right through there. It instantly transforms the dry hair, makes it look damp a little bit, makes it look wet. And that truly is the reason why I think damp hair didn't work as much and why this worked for the most part. This actually makes the application fantastic in my opinion. It's very easy to get it through the hair, which is true also for damp hair, but I felt like it just needed that stability from the dry hair to maintain the balance. You see, adding it into my hair, like I said, was great. It was more than great, really, but when I started to comb, that's when things got tough. There was some tug there, both from the dry hair and the stickiness of the pomade, so that led to the challenge. The dry hair works better for getting shape and for working alongside the pomade for that balance, but that tug there I knew was going to be a problem for some people out there with their styling. I know some of you don't, really don't like tug and pull. I really just felt like I had to look further and try to figure out how to make this work. Luckily, the answer was somewhere in between damp and dry hair. It was kind of like a compromise of the two methods. You see, even with towel dried hair, I'm talking about towel dried hair, I'm not talking about wet hair, towel dried hair, that led to less volume, less performance, and that's why I started with dry hair. I wanna make that very clear. The towel dried hair didn't have as much volume, it didn't have as much control, Dry hair gave me that, but it had the tug, so I had to look for an answer for that, and I found one very easily by just wetting the comb. You see, wetting the comb seemed to be the answer here. By just wetting the comb, I was able to apply just a tiny bit of moisture to balance that tug back out and still keep the stability I wanted from the dry hair. Doing this small, simple thing really led to a great style and one that I think looked awesome. Moving right along here into the endurance, I think this one hardened up significantly less than other pomades in this category, and four hours then I think the only real change I can see there besides the obvious is a tiny amount of movement in the back there, but that's easily packed down and fixed with, you know, just my finger. Nothing else seemed to be a big deal. And at eight hours in, I think we got obviously some more movement there. It did kind of fall apart there, as you can see, but this is a great opportunity to point out that one, this is eight hours in, and two, we can repeat the method of wetting the comb and restyling it up here without much issue at all. I did continue to watch this one and I found that it easily made it to the 12 hour mark, which obviously is great. I think finding the way to use this one was the key to success. Finding the method of use that was a little bit different for a gel type. It, it, you know, it was dry hair versus damp hair. And then going in with the dry hair, adding the product, wetting the comb, and then combing through, that balanced it out very nicely. That seemed to be just what I needed to get a solid style. Moving on to the washout though, there was not much to report on this one because it came right out with just water, quick, easy, no real complaints for me in that department. The scent, it was also quite typical in my opinion. It's fresh, it's clean, it's a light cologne-ish type scent. It's not too strong, very appealing to my nose though. And really it's just not a scent that I had any problems with. Again, looking at this one as a whole, it kind of reminded me of the Paradox Pomade in its efforts to be a little bit different, but there are some major differences I do feel compelled to point out. The main one, being that Paradox, in my opinion, has more holding power all over than this one. It has much more holding power, in fact. But I do think this one does have a good firm hold in the hair while being very slick, and I think that slickness is also a big difference 
in this versus Paradox Pomade. I think this was much more slick. It also has a low hardening point, which I appreciated. Good volume ability, and as we saw, all day performance. It just had a, a couple of hold issues on the sides, but again, that's the heaviest points of my hair, and we're going on two weeks with me for a haircut, so my hair is right at its heaviest, I, and we're talking about eight hours. I mean, eight hours. That's a long time, especially when you can just wet the comb, restyle it, and keep rolling. I do think that was pretty good. I mean, I think eight hours, it's a long time. That's a pretty good amount of time for any product. And this is really great to see in 2019. It's just really refreshing to see people trying new things. It's a new take on old products, new ways for people to make things, new ideas. It's great to see a brand like this just push things a little bit and not just follow the norms in regards to how gel types are typically made. I do think that some people are gonna say that slickness is not enough to to make this a new take on a gel type. But if this product wasn't as slick and easy to apply as it is, it would not be the product it is, 100%. It would not have the appeal to me that I think it does just based on those strong attributes. It is all about perspective though. It is all about the way that you look things. But as someone who's seen a ton of gel types, it is nice to see one that went for exaggerated slickness and application versus exaggerated hold and other benefits. I think that was a, a nice route to take, a refreshing route to take even, and I really enjoyed testing it and using it. And if you guys are a fan of gel types or even just a, a fan of pomades in general, I can highly recommend this one to you. I think for sure you guys with thick hair, thin hair, straight hair, all types of hair, you're going to have success with this one. I'm confident that this one has the chops to help you out. And if you're interested in checking it out, this is all up to you guys. All I can do is give you guys my opinion and uh, it's up to you to do the rest. If you think this one will work for you. There will be a link in the description there with a nice little 10% off code that will be there as well for you guys to check out if you're interested. They do ship worldwide. So if you're interested, all of that is there for you to check out. If you also enjoyed today's review, make sure you tap that like button for me. Drop me a comment. That's a big help. And absolutely, if you have not yet subscribed, you need to do that. You definitely need to hit that button. And speaking of subscribers, as usual, we will be closing this video out with a brand new subscriber spotlight. And if you want to be featured, I do need some more submissions for that. So get on that if you want to have your photo featured in uh, upcoming video. The instructions are there in the description and you can send it to me over social media. You don't have to email it. You can send it to me on any one of the channel's social media platforms. And thank you in advance for that. And thank you for stopping by and checking out today's episode. I will, of course, be back with you guys again right here very soon. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.